It should come as no surprise that I like pencils. But... I have a real soft spot for the outcasts. The broken, battered, chewed and forgotten stubs that find their way into the backs of drawers, the bottom of bags, or the depths of pencil cases. These forgotten pencils are often the most captivating and the most interesting. All the pencils shown here came from one workshop and were kindly donated to me by a family friend. I collected them from a variety of drawers, cabinets, toolboxes, shelves and crevices. And when brand new, these were relatively bland, somewhat unnoteworthy pencils. I would have probably overlooked or ignored them, but given enough time, and with a certain amount of wear and tear, grime and abuse, they start to develop stories of their own. A good number of them appear to be hand-sharpened. Rough, faceted cuts, five or six around the circumference. These are utility pencils, sharpened quickly but carefully to a useful and utilitarian point. Some are quite long, either abandoned or lost before a litany of sharpening reduced them to stubs. A Murado Black Warrior, still with factory sharpen but point dulled with a few hastily scratched marks. The Club Excelsior HB, bereft of a racer but still sporting a healthy length and a short but stubby sharpen. Others started short, diminutive golf pencils likely used once or twice on the green, now just a forgotten token of a round of golf in interesting far-flung places. There's a box of Eagle Chemi-Sealed Murados. Grade H for hard, of which only six remain. The box itself is a work of art, a cavalcade of icons, typography and big, bold colours. Even the opening mechanism is novel. It's got this pull tab that elevates the pencils when you pull it so you can pick them out easier. Of the six remaining Murados, two look unused. One is blunted slightly, another is pitted and damaged. One has taken a beating. Either the recipient of idle mastication, or it got on the wrong side of a power tool. The sixth Murado is shorter than the others, indicating use, but unlike most of the other pencils here, it appears to have been sharpened with a long point, sharp bladed sharpener. There are pencils from every walk of life here. A pair of fraternal twin Stadler Norrises, one short and almost worn through to the wood with usage. The other, proudly made in Great Britain, is less battered but sports a long knife sharpen with plenty of exposed graphite. All these pencils have a distinct lean towards the harder end of the graphite spectrum. An Edco school pencil and a yellow-capped Winner 1900, both in grade age. The ever-useful all-purpose pencil, incongruous in its HB, and a Royal Sovereign in 2H is possibly the hardest pencil of the lot. Its rough knife sharpen looks like it could have been the only one it's had And this 2H pencil could probably retain a point for another 20 years. A 
a few oddities and unidentifiables. An unlacquered pencil with its wooden barrel pitted and scarred. A slew of promotional pencils exclaiming Simpsons. Speed Fit and the Royal Yacht Britannia. A small wedge of green carpenter's pencil and an almost as short orange colouring pencil are joined by the unassuming wooden barrel that simply claims USA. These pencils are snapshots from moments in time. They embody the preferences, travels and nuances of the humans that use them. The years have given them a patina and a history that never ceases to fascinate me. So next time you find a solitary pencil lurking at the back of some cluttered drawer or wedged in a shelf in some dusty workshop, pick it up. Take a look and listen. You just might have a story to tell. <laughs>